For the beam shown below with constant EI, compute the following deflections by the double integration method at A, at C, at D, at E, and at F. So use on the double integration method. This is the figure. So first, let's solve for the reactions. Let's call this BY and this one RE. BX is zero, of course. So summation moment about T equals zero or moment T zero. So we have BY times 10 plus 15 times 3 times 1.5 plus 90. And minus 50 times 6 minus 30 times 12. So solving for BY, BY equals 50.25 kilonewtons. And summation moment B0 or moment B0. So we have R sub E times 10 plus 30 times 2 minus 50 times 4 minus 90 plus 15 times 3 times 11.5. So 10 plus 1.5 is 11.5. So R sub E is equal to 74.75 kilonewtons. Then we set up moment equation for the differential equation up to EF, the last section. So that is X. So that EI Y double prime. So we just, it is applicable for the entire beam. So we just use Y double prime. EIY double prime equals BY 50.25 times X minus 2 and plus 90 X minus 9 to the 0 because this is 9 and plus RE 74.75 times X minus 12 that's 12 so X minus 12 then minus 30 times X minus 50 times X minus 6 then minus 15 times x minus 12 times x minus 12 over 2. So that is 7.5 times x minus 12 quantity square. Then integrating once, EIY prime equals 25.125 x minus 2 square plus 90 times x minus 9 plus 74.75 over 2. So 37.75 x minus 12 square minus 15 x square then minus 25 times x minus 6 square then minus 2.5 x minus 12 cube plus c sub 1 so there is c sub 1 because a is not a support it will deflect definitely and remember in the interpretation c sub 1 is theta a c sub 2 is delta a integrate again 25.125 over 3 is 8.75 x minus 2 cube plus 45 x minus 9 square plus 299 over 24 37.75 over 3 is 299 over 24 x minus 12 cube then minus 15 over 3 is so 5 x cube minus 25 over 3 x minus 6 cube then 2.5 over 4 is 5 over 8 minus 5 over 8 x minus 12 to the fourth plus c sub 1x plus c sub 2. We then set boundary conditions when x is 2, y is 0. So 0 equals, so this is 0, negative, ignore, ignore, minus 5, uh, 2 cube, ignore, negative, plus c sub 1 times 2 plus c sub 2. So setting up the first equation, 2 c sub 1 plus c sub 2 equals 40. Then when x is 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3, 12, y is 0. So here, so 0 equals 8.375 10 cube plus 45 3 square. x is 12, remember. This is 0 minus 5 times 12 cube minus 25 over 3 times 6 cube. This is 0, then plus c sub 1 times 12 plus c sub 2. So establishing the second equation, 12c sub 1 plus c sub 2 equals 
equals, so make this positive, minus 45 times 3 squared, minus 8.375, 10 cubed, and that is 1,660. Solving equations 1 and 2 simultaneously, we get C sub 1 equals 162 and C sub 2 equals negative 284. So I want you to verify this. You may eliminate C sub 2, then solve for C sub 1 and C sub 2 from equations 1 and 2. Then having found and we interpret C sub 1 as theta A, C sub 2 as delta A. Therefore, theta A is 162 over EI and delta A is negative 284 over EI. Next for the slope and deflection at C, set X equals 6 for the slope here. So EI theta C is equal to 25.1254 square. Ignore, ignore, negative, minus 15 times 6 square, 0, ignore, plus C sub 1, which is 162. So from here, we can solve uh, theta C equal to 24 over EI. Then delta C here, X is 6. So EI delta C is equal to 8.375 4 cube. Negative, so ignore, ignore, minus 5 times 6 cube, 0, negative, so plus 162 times 6 plus C sub 2, which is negative 284. So delta C is equal to 144 over EI. Then uh, next at D, X is 9. So EI theta D into this equation is 25.125 times 7 square because x is 9, 0, negative, so minus 15 times 9 square, minus 25 times 3 square, ignore plus C sub 1, which is 162. So theta d cannot be computed. It is equal to negative 46.875 over EI. Then delta d here, x is 9. EI delta D equals 8.375 times 7 cube. Ignore, ignore, minus 5 times 9 cube. Minus 25 over 3, 3 cube. Ignore, plus 162 times 9, plus C sub 2, which is negative 284. So delta D, and now we computed, is equal to 176.625. Then at E, just theta because y is 0 at e. So into this equation, x is 12. So ei theta e is equal to 25.125 times 10 square plus 90 times 3. Then 0 minus 15 times 12 square minus 25 times 6 square. 0 plus e sub 1, which is 162. So theta E is equal to negative 115.5 over EI. Then at F, X is 15. So let's solve for theta F first into this equation. Take note, X is 15. So all these terms are positive. So we use all these terms. So EI theta F is equal to 25.125 times 13 square plus 90 times 6 plus 37.375 times 3 square, minus 15 times 15 square, minus 25 times 9 square, minus 2.5 times 3 cubed, plus C sub 1, which is 162. So using your calculator, theta F is equal to negative 183 over EI. And finally, delta F into this equation, x is 15. So EI delta F is equal to 8.375 times 13 cubed plus 45 times 6 square plus 299 over 24 times 3 cubed minus 5 times 15 cubed minus 25 over 3 times 9 cubed 
minus 5 eighths of 3 to the fourth and plus 162 times 15 plus C sub 2 which is negative 284. So using your calculator, delta F is equal to negative 498.375. So that's it for this problem.